Hi everyone, my name is Adil Hassan. I am a fourth year medical student. I chose Dr. Mandal's lab in specific because I like how it's related to the cardiac physiology and I also like the, the basic science aspect of it as well so that it's not just clinical but also getting to some of the uh, deeper questions. So it's just a good combination of both cardiac physiology and basic science research. Dr. Mandal has been instrumental in helping me through this research experience. There's a lot of things that I'm doing here that I wouldn't have been able to do without him. In particular, one thing that I'm working on right now is a, a manuscript, actually, of all the findings that I have. Dr. Mandal helped a lot with the, the preparing this manuscript by finding me examples uh, that are existing in the field of like what to model my paper based off of and giving me feedback on how to improve my uh, writing. Dr. Mandal definitely helped me a lot in this experience. Working with Adam is very rewarding to me because he is working very hard on the project. I gave it to him. Now he is ready to prepare his manuscript and uh, that uh, will reward once we publish this paper. It will reward both of us. My name is Nandan Kumar Mandal and I'm an assistant professor of surgery at the Department of Surgery and Division of Cardiothoracic Transplantation and Circulatory Support at Baylor College of Medicine. I'm a basic scientist and I do run a basic science lab at the Cooley Building. If you think about it, most of the lab tests that we use in clinical medicine all come from the basic science laboratories. I mean, think about like troponin, CRP, PCR, all of these tests came from someone doing basic science research and now they're ordered in every emergency room across the country. So I think it's really important for us to continue to push the boundaries of basic science so that we can do even better medicine in the future. So a lot of projects are listed in the SOAR database. I listed seven or eight projects, different projects in the SOAR database and in the next, from the next day I receiving emails and within a week I got Adel, I got Parker, I got Samu and uh, I got um, Jacob. This is the only platform from where I got all my medical students and I found that is very helpful for me as well as to them. SOAR has definitely been very helpful for widening my professional horizons because both through the database and through the, the travel award. So the travel award helped pay for my uh, trip to Baltimore, which was very helpful because just the registration fees, the airline fees, the hotel fees, it really starts to add up. And having that SOAR travel award was really helpful for being able to cover all of those costs. The other thing that I really liked was the SOAR database. So that was actually how I found out about this project in the first place. I was scrolling through the SOAR database, looking through projects that you know had some so something to do with cardiac physiology, something to do with the heart, and also some of the uh, advanced data science uh, techniques that uh, I think are, are really important to learn in this brave new world of AI that we're all living in. Dr. Mandal was the, the, the first project I came across that combined all three of those in a uh, very interesting way, so immediately I emailed him um, and uh, here we are. Thanks to the SOAR for giving all the Baylor investigators the opportunity to showcase their research into their database and uh, students, they find it very helpful helpful as well so that they can choose what they want to learn from. They have the option to choose which one they want to pursue. I would like to encourage all the Baylor investigator to post their uh, valuable research project at the SOAR database so that more and more medical students get the opportunity to look into that and uh, they can find a specific project uh, which they find it interesting and they can connect it with you and in that way the faculty and the mentor and mentee both get benefited uh, through this sewer.